Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I designed and developed and created the website for 7th Loud Coastal Scouts. Um, first off, welcome to the video. Uh, I do hope you enjoy um, what you are about to see. Um, I will leave timestamps um, in the description and stuff so you can skip ahead to content that you find interesting or whatever um, but I suppose I'll start off with um, how I went about designing the and coming up with ideas about how the website how I wanted the website to look and what its main functions are and we're going to be at the time. Um, so the website itself is optimized for mobile, meaning it, it has a clear, readable layout and text and that doesn't jump um, from page to page. And given that 50% of um, users of the internet come from mobile devices, I thought mobile optimization for a website such as this or any website in particular was very important. Um, I've also included uh, Google Analytics and their Google Search Kit and stuff to help better optimize the website and performance and stuff as well as including a sitemap which greatly include in not includes but it greatly improves the search engine optimization otherwise known as SEO of the website and other cool features as well um, so realistically <coughs> this has been in uh, I suppose the design and sort of the design process um, for a couple of months now um, the website by itself is completed and is available to view online. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. Um, and I suppose uh, the website itself was designed with Elementor um, and Elementor Pro. Elementor is the world's number one um, website builder. Uh, gives you loads of, and it, it's integrated with WordPress, which is the platform that it's built on. Um, it's built, designed using Elementor and was built on the WordPress uh, platform. Now WordPress itself I've used before, um, it's a, WordPress itself is an open source, um, not API, but it's open source software meaning that the plugins you see from the web for, for WordPress are uh, built by the community for use in the community um, and have many different contributors uh, some are built by WordPress themselves others are built from by contributors to other applications uh, that are used as plugins in the websites um, webs WordPress is free um, you can build a free website using WordPress using the wordpress.com domain extension um, I'm trying to think what plan I went with I went with the let me just google because I have it written down in a um, in a website plan let me see uh -huh. I have it done as a spreadsheet so, I went with the the premium plan Yeah, I went with the premium plan. I'm going to say premium because I don't know what 
I can't remember exactly what plan I went with, but we'll say premium just for the um, aspect of this video. Um, so, premium plan was the plan that I went with. Um, and it took a good few weeks to try and figure out what it was going to, what I wanted to achieve um, with the web in terms of the website functionality. Uh, the website itself, as I mentioned at the beginning, is optimized for mobile, um, and there's a lot of other features as well. Uh, I just pull up something that I had written about a few weeks ago, uh, just to. So as I was saying earlier. The website is optimized for mobile, which means that the website itself, um, you have faster loading times on web pages, um, and given that 50% of web users um, access web browsers and internet or access web browsers and websites through mobile devices, um, it is very important that this website that I built for but the Scout Group have this um, functionality built into it as well. Um, I haven't yet optimized it for tablets, um, for like iPads or something like that, but I will get around to doing it. I just thought um, it's more important that I have a design structure in place and then worry about optimizing it later. I optimized it for mobile first because that's the most important thing. I'll get to optimizing it for tablets later on in the year um, yeah so I just written a piece here um, <clears throat> so basically having a plan for what I wanted and how I wanted the site to look um, was very important um, and I needed to figure out how the site was going to function um, what was the site going to be used for and how it was going to be used um, I mentioned earlier the website is built on the WordPress um, software using Elementor and Elementor Pro. Now, <coughs> Elementor Pro is brilliant. Um, it gives you premium teams, uh, gives you also a whole load of WordPress integration things so you can integrate a WordPress search bar. Um, it, it, it integrates really well with WordPress and you can design your own teams, you can uh, design your own layout, it gives you loads of premium theme, loads of premium themes um, and you have so many other things. The possibilities with Elementor and WordPress are endless. Um, having never used Elementor before, this whole experience um, was a, a complete learning curve for me which I quickly got a hold of and grasped very quickly um, and then went on to working on the overall design of the website and how I wanted it to look. Um, overall, I really enjoyed working with the website and recommend WordPress to anybody who uses it as a website platform as well as an Elementor for highly customizable templates for highly customizable templates as well as an easy to follow and simple um, interface. And as I said earlier, the website itself will be linked in the description. Um, yeah, so there are upsides to using Elementor. Elementor has the majority, you basically, um, Elementor works on a drag and drop system, so you pick the elements that you want, put, pull them into your website, and I suppose could, then you configure, you can configure the templates or certain elements to the way you want them. So if you wanted, uh, I suppose a website header to be a certain size you can do a complete website refresh um, and basically I suppose use going off your own knowledge of HTML and CSS and whatever um, you can design a completely new header or footer um, without using their templates, it would just mean that if you don't know too much about HTML or CSS, it would take quite a long time to figure out how to go about it. Whereas with their easy to use templates, you pick one of the templates, drag it, drop, drag it into your 
WordPress interface and there you go, you have a header. And then from that, you can customize it to how you want, include pages to the top of your header, social links, whatever. Now, um, I really enjoyed using Elementor as a, I enjoyed using Elementor as a, a, a little add-on to WordPress. Um, and I wouldn't, I couldn't recommend it highly enough. Um, it is very simple, very easy, and as I said, um, it's got a brilliant interface. Simple, that's that's simple and very easy to follow. Um, and um, website optimization, I suppose, was very important to me uh, because the. You get faster loading pages, um, quicker loading times, 50% of the WordPress powers about 50 to 80% of the websites that you see today. Um, and that's excluding Wix and any other website builder or um, website design platform that you see on the internet. WordPress powers the majority of websites that you see today. Um, examples are the Disney website, I think ESPN used them, TechCrunch used them, um, really big uh, media corporations and stuff, they would use WordPress. So I thought having used WordPress before for my own sort of free website type things, and given that the majority of big internet, big corporation businesses use them, I figured why not use WordPress as a platform for um, building our website on. Um, and the response to the website was fantastic um, and I'm just really glad that people have enjoyed it because I certainly did um, and I also using experience using what I have I suppose learned through through college and HTML and CSS, um, this was almost, I suppose, second nature to me having used HTML and CSS before in Diffie and then doing a course in web authoring. You go into more advanced HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap, and then having the experience of using WordPress before, um, WordPress was like a no. It was a, a no-brainer for a platform to use <coughs> to build this website on. Uh, the website itself has many different functions. Um, there is a home page, a contact page, uh, an information page. So we have the one of the things is we have a a COVID form up on our website for people to visit and download and whatever whenever we're using whenever we're doing activities. Um, and given the current climate and COVID-19 and stuff, that's there for parents or whatever to download. And uh, there's an about us section, uh, what we, and basically there's a load of things that the, the website has been constantly updated with loads of different information relating to the activities that we do um, and stuff like that. So um, it is constantly being updated and uh, stuff is constantly being added to it so the website is an ongoing I suppose never ending process of having stuff added to it and taking suggestions from other people as well um, so the functionality of the website itself was also very important 
um, I wanted to figure out what the site was going to be used for, how it was going to be used, and what the intended use of the website was going to be. Um, so we've we've included a, a Google Calendar for events within the section, um, easily optimized for mobile devices, um, and. Uh, a latest news page to keep up to date with news and stuff within the different sections um, and we've recently launched a rover section within uh, our group so there's, there'll be news and stuff on that once um, we kind of pick up momentum on different uh, activities and stuff within our, our scout group um, and the website I said itself would be down in the link uh, so you can visit that there um, but yeah functionality itself um, I wanted something that was easy something that was that wasn't you know I didn't want something that um, took about five minutes to load a page um, in, and something that people can get to very quickly um, so when you view it on mobile the layout will be different to as if you were to view it on a desktop um, it will be fitting to the mobile screen um, keeping in mind the when you're optimizing it for mobile through the Elementor program that I've used to design the website um, you have to individually optimize the pages so they're not done automatically themselves um, I am looking at uh, plugins and certain things for accelerated mobile pages um, and stuff I know WordPress has one but uh, given that I've optimized it through Elementor I'm just unsure about whether or not accelerated mobile pages for WordPress will work uh, in conjunction with Element with what I've done already in Elementor or whether it'll if I add that plugin to the website will it completely contradict um, the pages that I've optimized individually for WordPress I'm not sure but I'm looking into it so um, I'll have news on that um, in the next sort of few months in the next few months ahead anyway um, and yeah the response to the website itself when I finished it um, although saying finished it, the website is never really finished you're always constantly working on it so um, when I initially released the website back in last month um, back in April uh, the response to it was brilliant um, it was yeah I am overjoyed with the response that the website has gotten so far um, as I said things are constantly being added uh, to the website to better I suppose better experiences of the users um, using Google site kit as well which is Google's sort of analytics uh, plugin for WordPress um, that goes into so much detail about how many times your certain pages have been visited, how many times people have stayed on that page, how many t where your pages are being viewed, where your website is being viewed. So, for instance, uh, as of yesterday, I think 80% of our, almost 100% of our audience is from Ireland, um, with the website reaching as far as France and the United States. Um, so it's great to see that our website is kind of getting out there and being shown to more people than just those of us here in Ireland. Um, the analytics is, or the search, I don't know what you call it, the site kit is constantly bringing in um, new information pretty much every day. I check it there periodically, I checked it there yesterday and then maybe a few weeks ago and it'll be something that I'll bring up again in um, a few weeks time 
when I uh, talk about it some more in a future video if that is something uh, you would like to see um, but yeah so I think that's it for um, this video on the website and how I went about doing it and what went into it and stuff um, if I've missed anything uh, do let me know and I'll produce another video similar to this one uh, filling in the gaps of stuff that I might have missed um, in the next few weeks um, but if you like this video uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel clicking here um, for new videos published every week day I don't really have an upload schedule so um, it doesn't really bother me uh, and don't forget to like the video below leave the leave suggestions for stuff that you'd like to see next uh, in the comments section and as I said previously details and links mentioned to different websites including the website mentioned in this video will be left in the video description um, don't forget to like the video, share the video on social platforms and all that jazz. You can find me on Twitter um, at Jack underscore Nelligan uh, for um, video updates and other stuff relating to YouTube and multimedia things. Um, until then, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.